everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new of course welcome to my channel my name's Brittany and because I've got some time off work I've been uploading quite a few videos or at least I will be um, I've got every Thursday and Friday off um, so yeah I'm just gonna take the time to film some videos and also focus on um, my course that I've recently just started um, so yeah, in this video I will be um, showing you how to get this look. Um, I won't be showing you um, how to do my base makeup, it will be purely just sort of um, an eyeshadow tutorial. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so as you can see I've already gone ahead and done my base makeup. I feel like I've shown that a lot on camera and it tends to be the same products that I use each time. So I thought in this video I would just focus on the eyes. Um, so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my P. Louise base and I've got this in the shade Ruma 1. And I'm just going to put a bit of this on my eyelids and then blend it out with my brush and then probably just use my finger to make sure it's fully blended. So that's the P. Louise base all blended out and now time for eyeshadow. So today, um, as you'll probably already know from the title, we're going to go in with the Carnival 3 Love Tahiti Be Perfect and Stacey Marie palette. Um, I've used this a couple times on my channel I believe and I've also shown pictures of it on my Instagram. Um, plus you probably would have all seen what the palette looks like by now but if not, I will show it for you again. So we're gonna go for a sort of orange and brown smoky eye um, and we're gonna put sort of some glitter in the middle. Um, I believe there is a name for that, but I can't remember. I think it's like a halo eye. I think that's what we're going for today. So um, the first color that I'm going to grab um, is actually this color here called yellow. So we're gonna start um, with the lighter colors up the top and then work our way down um, to the centre of the eye. So you can't really see it that well um, on camera but I've just taken that shade yellow and I've kind of stamped it on and then blended it out. So the next colour that we're going to take is this shade here called Coral which is just sort of like a neon orange and I'm going to do the same with that. Um, I'm going to stamp it on and then blend it out. So that's what that orange colour looks like blended out, that's the shade Coral. And then we're going to go one more darker, I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush. So I'm going to go in with the shade Blaze, which is just sort of a deeper orange kind of version on red. Um, I'm just going to use this sort of like right in my crease just to deepen that up, but I still want the orange to show through. So the eye is currently looking like this, so it's all just nice and blended out. And now we're going to really deepen the look up by adding some brown into the outer corner and the inner corner. And then just sort of blend that into the orange. But I'm going to leave the middle part of the eye free and that's where we're going to apply some shimmer and possibly some glitter. I'm going to see how I feel later on. So I'm going to start by getting more of a um, packing brush. 
sort of like a flat packing brush and I'm going to pack the brown into the outer and inner corner of my eye and then once I feel like I've got enough um, product on the eye then I'll blend it out using just a big fluffy blender brush. So I'm going in with the shade here called Coco or Coca, no I think it's Coco. So I'm just taking that on the packing brush and then I'm just going to stamp it onto the outer corner. And then in the inner corner as well. So as you can see, I've left the middle part of the eye free. So I'm just going to get my blending brush and try not to touch the inside of the colour. I just want to blend the outside into that orange. So that's what it's looking like blended out and then what I'm going to do is just pack a bit more of that coca shade um, just to deepen it up slightly and then if it does create any harsh edges I will go in and blend it again. So that's what we've got so far, so then I'm just going to take a clean packing brush and in the centre of the eye I'm going to pack on the colour here which is called Vanilla, which is a shimmery colour. I'm going to see how intense this is um, and then depending on how much that stands out I might go in with some glitter as well. So that's what it looks like with the shimmer in the centre. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a really, really small blending brush. Let me just find one. Something like this. And I'm going to grab that um, coca shade. And I'm just going to sort of blend it into the shimmer. Just so there aren't any harsh lines. And I'm also going to do the same just above where the shimmer stops. So that is um, the top of the eye complete. So I am going to do um, a little bit underneath my eye um, just because you can see that the orange has kind of come down. So I think it will make sense just to make them join underneath. So what I'm going to do first of all is using that same sort of pencil blending brush, if that's even a thing. I'm just going to clean that off in my little brush cleaner and then I'm going to grab um, the shade Coral and I'm just going to run this tightly to my waterline and then I'm also going to go in with Coca just to um, deepen it or Coco, please tell me what one it is in the comments so when I've got that packed um, closely to my waterline like so my bottom lash line rather I'm then just going to take a fluffy blending brush in fact I'm going to get a smaller one so it's easier to blend it out if I can find one, I can never find the brush that I need. And when that's blended out, I'm then going to go in with that pencil brush again and grab that dark brown shade and deepen that up. just like so and then again grab that small sort of fluffy brush and just blend that out and 
Then what I'm going to do is grab one of those packing brushes um, and I'm going to grab that vanilla shade again. In fact, no, I'm going to go in with the small pencil brush. I think that'll be more precise. And I'm going to grab the vanilla shade and I'm just going to put this on my inner corner. Like so. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do, so that is the eyeshadow all finished. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and we can go in with some mascara to finish the look. So the mascara that I'm going to go in with is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I'm just going to give my lashes a couple of coats of this just so they're really dramatic because I'm not going to be going in with any false lashes today. I've just really been liking the sort of simple mascara look. So I've taken the mascara on my top and bottom lashes, I've currently only got one coat on, I'm going to sort of wait for that to dry a little bit and then I'll go on with second coat. Um, but yeah, that's one eye complete, so I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye um, and also put some lipstick on as well and then I will come back to show you the final look. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done the other eye and I've applied two coats of mascara to each eye and I sort of looked and I thought something was missing. So I have actually gone ahead and put some black eyeliner um, in my waterline. It was just the um, Huda Beauty um, Life Liner. Um, and then I've also gone ahead and done my lips using 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 my usual combo of um, the Morphe lip liner and the shade Wifey um, in the Morphe Matte Lipstick. Um, I didn't actually use Frenchie today though, I used um, Bubble for the lip liner um, and I don't feel it's made much difference because the colours are quite similar. But yeah, this is um, my finished look using the Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video, please don't forget to give it a like comment down below your thoughts and also if you're not already please subscribe i've currently only got 16 subscribers so the account is not building too well but yeah thank you anyway and i will see you in my next video